T minus one minute and counting. Dragon is in countdown, T minus 58 seconds. Everything remains go. The dragon and trunk, 20 feet tall as you see them, will lift off. The eight Super Draco engines will burn for eight seconds, and the trunk will then detach, fall into the ocean when the spacecraft reaches apogee. The dragon will deploy drogue chutes, then main chutes, and parachute into the water. The entire test should last about 90 minus seconds. 30 seconds. T minus 20. Power deployment is done. 15. T minus 10. 10. 9. 9. 8. 8. 7. 10. 6. 5. 4. four 3. 2. Yeah. 1. Launch. And we have ignition. The Super Drinkers have ignited and are pushing the Crew Dragon off the pad. Right now. Engine per second. Engines have shut down as planned after about a five and a half second burn. The trunk has detached. Trunk deploy. Dragon is tumbling as planned. The drogue chute has deployed as planned. Drogues look good. Drogues look good. Sequencing the mains. Passing through 600 meters. Downrange distance. Main parachutes, all three have opened, gently lowering the Dragon test article to the ocean surface. Hang tight, everyone. One minute into flight. Dragon is at terminal velocity. Dragon is at terminal yeah, velocity. Spacecraft gently being lowered to the Atlantic Ocean. Avionics global. Avionics knowledge global. And we have Splashdown. The Crew Dragon test article has splashed down just offshore from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. This view from Dragon. Dragon is in water landing. And the three parachutes. This concludes the Dragon paddleboard test. All stations proceed to recovery operations on launch vehicle net. Gently lowering into the water, and launch conductor Aaron Beck announced to the team that this concludes the SpaceX pad abort test. This flight test, unlike any seen in Florida since the days of Apollo, with the parachutes floating next to it, the Dragon spacecraft is waiting for two fast boats and a barge to lift it out of the sea, and it will then be brought back to the shore and loaded onto a truck for transport to McGregor, Texas, where it will be inspected, cleaned, and readied for another more demanding flight test planned later this year. SpaceX engineers will pore over the telemetry and other data recorded during today's flight test to evaluate the launch abort system and Super Draco engines. And NASA's commercial crew program experts also will help evaluate the results as the development of one of the new generation of American spacecraft continues on pace. In the coming months, the SpaceX team will put the Crew Dragon through an in-flight abort test that will again put the Super Draco engines and the spacecraft through a simulated emergency. That test will take place on the opposite coast of the United States. It will take place from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California.
So with the Dragon having lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 and splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean, we will conclude our coverage. This is Dragon Test Control.